Good Saturday morning. What's going on, everybody? Just cruising in the vet today, running a couple errands. I got some stuff to do in the 350Z. Should be a busy day. Started out raining this morning, but it is sunny and warm, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we can get done. dislike about the C6 Grand Sport is that it sounds so damn good it's impossible to get good gas mileage turned out super good really pumped about it time to go test it out the new rear diff bushing from Z1 Motorsports installation actually wasn't all that terrible I'm confident you can do it if you just Take your time, think about it a little bit. But we gotta see what kind of difference it makes. Get this thing on the ground and test her out.
demonstration of the abuse that the diff bushing can handle. I mean. <laughs> Probably didn't launch at high enough RPM. Didn't get enough wheel speed. footage you can tell that the rear dip bushing is doing exactly what it's supposed to do uh, very very limited movement in that bushing so it's holding the rear nice and firm but what is absolutely surprising to me I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised the car's 20 years old but it was unbelievable to see how much movement there is in the rear subframe itself so the rear subframe bushing collars are a must at this point the diff bushing is absolutely necessary and was you know certainly a top priority in terms of what i needed to upgrade on this car but it can only do so much when there's that much movement in the rear subframe so i think subframe collars trans mount motor mounts those are the three main components that need to be upgraded next so that's top priority going forward um, like i said trans mount is ordered we're going to get the motor mounts and the collars ordered right now as well i've been able to tell recently too it's been it's been highlighting itself to me driving this car lately is that the factory lsd is just basically an open diff now at this point so uh, you can see just doing a little half circle in the parking lot there it only one tire was spinning and then pulling out of the lot onto the road and getting after it only one tire only the inside tire was spinning so like i said i've noticed that lately and that's a problem but i'm not really sure what 
I want to do in that regard. If we're going to keep improving things on this car, we certainly want the rear end to be functioning properly as well. So it's a little bit disappointing to see that that LSD isn't working anymore, um, but it is what it is. Car's 20 years old. I guess we can expect that. So let's just keep moving forward with this thing. I hope you guys will follow along. A lot of stuff coming for the for the Z this summer. So uh, I appreciate the continued support. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one.